Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this week's update. I hope that this finds uh, everyone well and that you've enjoyed uh, somewhat of a warmer weekend. Um, it, it was a brilliant week last week in school and it was the first time in two years that we have been able to invite families in to see what we're doing and we have missed it and it's been an utter pleasure to see so many families in phase one, two and lower key stage, uh, lower phase three, sorry, in primary and then all of the new families and prospective families and, and, and old families who we've known very, very well and um, who came in to see the open day on Wednesday. It was a phenomenal uh, feeling around the school, both sites and, and a real joy to see it. And it was a real opportunity for us to talk about the strengths. And I think one of the things um, that we're maybe not as good at as a school is talking about our strengths. And it was lovely to be able to tell the families coming in looking at year seven places the fact that this school is in the top 10% of schools in the country. We have got um, the best results in Calderdale for the suite of GCSEs called the EBAC, which is Humanities, English, Maths, Science and Modern Foreign Language. We have got um, national recognition for our oracy programme, for our art and design programme and for the way we work with teachers and teacher development and research. So it's, it was just brilliant to be able to explain that and then the two million pound, uh, sorry, the one million pound investment that we have going on in school over the next two years. So getting all of those messages out was brilliant and, and because responding to the requests we've made, we're also going to be opening up um, school more often. So on the 5th of um, October we are going to be opening our doors to families who are looking round so they get to see the school in operation. Uh, we're really looking forward to doing that. So it was just a brilliant opportunity to get to show the school off in all its glory and to find, so like finish off the week, it was lovely to be able to take Holly Lynch around the school again. She got to see the school again and in, in the students just being brilliant. So they've settled in so well and it was a real pleasure um, for families. And, and if any of you listening want to ever come and look around the school, please do contact. Um, we will make sure that we do our best to have t tours and I know that we're getting in contact with as many families as possible so they get to come and uh, have a look around school. And that's really important to us that you get to uh, see, your, see your school and uh, see it in action. Um, as you can see with some of the uh, clips there, just the uh, images, um, one of the things that is new this year, especially in the primary phase, is that we have been able to provide specialist teachers from secondary, from uh, year two upwards, and this is specialist teachers in art, in music, in MFL, in science, in maths, um, to be able to support um, our youngest students in school. And this is part of the way that we've used our catch-up funding. Um, and I'll talk about more about catch-up funding and how we're going to respond to COVID in a later video. But we are the only primary school in Calderdale who has been able to do this, provide this for the young people, this specialist teaching, especially around science and maths to the youngest students. And it has been really successful so far, especially in the top end, five and six, and those that lower phase three students really, really responding to it. So they're incredibly lucky. Um, to be able to have that and the teachers have really really enjoyed it so again I look forward to telling you more about that over the uh, coming weeks and hopefully you'll be able to talk to your children about their experiences uh, of specialist teaching. The last part of this then is simply to say that we are uh, really looking forward to getting all of the enrichment programs that we've got going it was lovely to see hundreds of students take part in uh, after school support um, from um, year seven upwards. The year nines won 4-2 against Rastricht at the football, which was absolutely brilliant. We've got the bikes uh, arriving in primary, you're gonna be able to use the bike track. So all of this extracurricular um, activities that we're able to provide now we're open is really, really pleasing. And it's really exciting that we're able to do that. Uh, we've also um, just had our first uh, massive pizza lunch. I think over 600 children were invited like I mentioned last week about that really fantastic attitude to school. So it was lovely to be able to just have a small celebration in the first few weeks around that to get some enthusiasm. And at the back end of last week, I was able to take Holly Lynch on Friday around the school again. As I've said countless times, you know, she's a real champion of the school and of, of, of our local families. 
Um, and she got to see the school in all its glory and operation as well. And we, we were able to finalise a date um, when we are going to take the children down to Parliament to see her, to see the Shadow Education Secretary, hopefully, and maybe some other um, of the uh, MPs down there. And children can have a look around Parliament and London to see how that's operating. And we're going to be working with children about that. And uh, last but not least, just an update on the um, relationship policy consultation that we're still doing. Um, we're still working with the representatives from the Council of Mosques. We're still working through the lesson resources and we want to make sure that the local imam has um, looked at all of those before we speak with you. So obviously there are quite a few lessons there. So please don't think that we're, we've, we've, we've made this go away or anything like that. We're still working very closely with the representatives so they understand what we are delivering. And then uh, you as families can come in and have a look at it once it's been through that process. So please don't think that that's gone away and we will bring that up again. So uh, that's it from me. I hope everybody has a fantastic week and I look forward to speaking to you again next weekend. Take care, everyone.